I'm going on my last run. This is my last run before we do the race. Uh, I signed up for the 5K race weekend, Ottawa. Very excited, and I want to talk to you about uh, the journey. It wasn't a very long journey. I signed up two weeks ago. Yes, I am a bit of a runner. I've done a lot of long distance. I've never done a 5K. And there's a part of me that I've always been like, I can do a 5K, no problem, that's easy. Um, but every race is a little bit different. And I wanna talk a bit about how the past two weeks, what has been going on through my head. And uh, because I really think that running is a great teacher. I get a lot of like ideas and thoughts and um, it really allows, it's a, I call it a meditation. And a meditation allows you to it pretty much reveal things that you are maybe aware of. It just gets you to reflect on things. And um, I've been really thinking about how this running has been going for the past few weeks. And I want to talk about it. I'm a little bit disappointed with, I've been, I have a watch and I've been checking lately how fast I run. And I'm a little bit disappointed on my speed and my endurance. Like, um, it's just not what I expected from me because in the past I have done great running. I have ran f much longer distance at a faster pace, but for some reason, for some reason, I'm just not running so fast lately. And it makes sense because I'm just not running that much. Basically, I just got into running two weeks ago. <laughs> so it's not going as what I expected. And, and, um, and I've always thought that running is a reflection of your life. Someone once told that to me. And I said, yeah, that's really true. How you run is a little bit how you live. And like looking back now, uh, like I've got this race that I'm signed up for, but I don't feel like I'm really prepared. And a lot of times in my life, I feel like I show up to things and I know I'm prepared and I know I've got it, but there's a part of me that is always saying, could have done more. I, uh, I could have, like, I know I have the potential to run faster. So if only I would have trained sooner, if I only I would have trained a bit harder, if only, if only, and that's, that's my personality. I often think like when I show up at events or I show up at, at times, like we could have done this better. And it's just my, like, it's a bit of a, the perfectionist, the, and some of you are like, yeah, yeah, whatever, <laughs> but it's true. It's what it is. And, um, so I just wish that, so I'm just, what, what it's kind of teaching me is basically enjoy the process, show up at the race. I'm going to do whatever I can to run the fastest I can in 5k. But you know, if it's not the time that I'd really like to be able to run, that's okay. And be satisfied with that and just try to enjoy the process. And so I've got my hat. I got my music, got my watch. I got um, my glasses and I'm just gonna go and enjoy because it's a beautiful day. It's really nice outside. I'm going to go have some fun and run my last run before I do my, run, my race. All right, so I just got back from my run. I'm a little bit sweaty and uh, Basically, I'm just glad it's only 5K and not a 10 or half marathon because uh, my endurance is just not there. But that's okay. At the end of the day, all that really, like nobody cares about my time. Nobody like is gonna be, oh, Martin, I thought you could run faster. No, you know, we pretty much, we all care about our own time. We all care about how we do, how we feel. And um, so, you know, whether you're running a race or a job or a family or whatever, you know, most people don't really like care. It's, you know, it's the truth. So I'm going to go, I'm going to do my best. I know I'm going to be competitive. I was smart today. I went out and I uh, ran fairly concert conservative um, and it felt okay. And uh, it is what it is. So, uh, I think like what like the biggest lesson that I got from the past two weeks with this little running journey is that um, 
there's a constant theme in my life and I can see it in my running as well. I'm often, I often feel disappointed because I feel like I'm not prepared enough. I'm not perfect enough. And the truth is that um, that's one way of looking at it, but I, should, I know that I should more focus on the gratitude and on the part of like, you know, I can run and I have legs and uh, it's okay if it's not what I expected. So I hope this helps. I hope you realize that you're okay too and it's you probably expect more and I think that's because life is full of we think it's full of fancy cars and supermodels but that's not the real life you know we can often get romance into TV into shows into our neighbors we think that they've got it all figured out when the truth is that life is real and sometimes it goes up and sometimes it goes down and the grass is not always green so I'm going to go have a nice run on Saturday. I'm really looking forward to it. If you are running, uh, you know, give it all you've got. You know, it's a race. Have some fun. Smile. Probably uh, the, one of the, my uh, person that I have a lot of respect and a, a great runner. The one advice he's, I often call him up last minute and I say, Eve, what should I do? You know, you know, I'm not prepared. I don't feel good. My legs are achy. And the one thing he's constantly telling me is just smile. So I'm going to go out, listen to my friend, and smile. All right, bye-bye.